Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now, I know in the past year, as in starting in January of this year, going down to now, I've been showing my record in vinyl finds, my CD finds, at the end of the month all at once, unless it's uh, VCLT. Well, I'm still going to do that. I've still got, um, you know, my running list of what I've, you know, purchased and what I'm uh, listening to. But this past weekend... I'm filming this on the 26th of July, so Friday night through Sunday morning this past weekend, I had the great fun of joining my buddy Tommy Burton uh, down in North Carolina for a record crawl that we started coining uh, Tommy Palooza. So what this is, is Tommy's down in North Carolina. He's around a ton of record stores within like a two hour radius of his house. And for a few years, he's been inviting his friend Sean to his house to, um, you know, just hit every record store that they can before they fall down flat. <laughs> and uh, Tommy extended the invitation, thank, thanking um, him for that right out of the gate. Thank you, Tommy, for all the hospitality from uh, you and your wife. And he extended the invitation to me as well as his buddy Ross from Mississippi. So we had... You know, the guys together at Tommy's Tommy's house hanging out, got there Friday night, spun some records. And then Saturday, we hit quite a few record stores uh, in the North Carolina, you know, the area of North Carolina that, that Tommy's located. So with that being said, I want to show what all I got during this Tommy Palooza. And um, I'm going to start. I've got a few CDs. And these were all great deals, and I could have bought so much, but I didn't, but I, I could have. So let me just start with the CDs really quick. I got Sorcerer by Miles Davis. Uh, I've never heard this album, but I'm excited. Um, it's kind of during his uh, fusion era, uh, <clears throat> like uh, you know Nefertiti and that sort of thing. So I'm excited to have this to my Miles collection. And then I've also got... Uh, My Funny Valentine, Miles Davis in concert. So I'm excited for that from a 1964. So you've got um, My Funny Valentine, All of You, Stella by Starlight, All Blues, and I Thought About You. And in his band, he's got George Coleman, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Tony Williams. So adding that to my Miles collection as well. Then I had a couple of uh, Dylan gaps that I needed to fill. So I have... Dylan and the Dead, which I know is not regarded as one of Dylan's best, but it was uh, $7, and I could not pass it up to fill out my Dylan collection. So this is when Dylan and toured with the Grateful Dead. And then the last CD that I got is the 30th anniversary concert that Bob Dylan had uh, as a tribute for him in Madison Square Garden in 1992. And... What's great about this is you've got one of my favorite live performances of all time, which is the all-star version of My Back Pages. You've got Neil Young, George Harrison, Tom Petty, Roger McGuinn, Dylan, um, Eric Clapton, and then you've got the band with like Jim Keltner, um, Waddy, I mean, uh, Donald, I think Donald Duck Dunn is on that. Um, just really great stuff. So I'm really excited to have this finally, uh, you know, it was nine bucks. And um, just really excited to have it. All right, let's move into the vinyl. So uh, let me start. Uh, actually, let me start with uh, Tommy had several records in his music room, which is stunning. And I should say, go to Tommy's channel. I'm going to link it below. Subscribe. He should have way more subscribers than he has. Please, please, please go subscribe for to, to Tommy. Tommy had a stack of records that he was going to sell to Discogs. And he told... Uh, Everybody that was there, he said, you know, if y'all want to to run through these records, you know, I'll I'll, I'll give you a good price on them and, and sell them to you. So we did, and I'm going to show you real quick what I got from Tommy. Uh, this is a real, um, copy of Double Fantasy by John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Uh, I don't have a copy of this. this. This is actually my first John Lennon solo album. And of course, this is the album that came out um, when, when John passed. So I'm... Uh, you know, excited to hear that, even the Yoko parts. Yeah, just like starting over, um, beautiful boy, that sort of thing, dear Yoko. So thank you, Tommy. 
keeping with the Beatles, I got a copy of Somewhere in England by George Harrison. Again, not one of George's um, best albums, but still a good one. Um, you have the song All Those Years Ago, which was George's tribute to John after he had passed away. And um, produced by George Harrison and Ray Cooper. And uh, yeah, so really excited to listen to that. And then I have the Pipes of Peace by uh, Paul McCartney. Again, I know a um, troubling album for a lot of people, but um, I'm glad to I'm glad to have this. And you can see there's the Gatefold, Ringo, Michael Jackson, Linda, um, everybody that was involved. So again, really glad to have Pipes of Peace. All right, so that. Uh, ends the Beatles segment of Tommy's um, sale, but Tommy's a big fan of the Turtles, and so he had a Turtles Greatest Hits that he um, gave to me, well, that he sold to me off the White Whale label, so thank you, Tommy, for that. Then I had a copy of McGuinn, Clark, and Hillman, which I've seen a few people talk about. Uh, of course, this is uh, three of the founding members of the Birds, the three principal, um, really the three principal vocalists, I would say, um, without David Crosby. So I'm excited to have that. Um, yeah, I love I love the Birds and really anything related to them. Uh, and then the last two that Tommy sold me, uh, a copy of the Monkees Instant Replay. This is um, this is a Cole Gems. Um, issue of this so um and, and again i know if it's coming from tommy it's going to be fairly clean tommy does a good job with his records so instant replay by the monkeys and then lastly from tommy the birds the bees and the monkeys and tommy you know gave me a great deal on these these records so this is another call gems um, a lot of people say this is their favorite monkeys album uh, you have auntie's municipal court Tapioca Tundra, which is one of my favorite Nesmith tunes, Daydream Believer, P.O. Box 9847, Magnolia Sims, which is really cool, Zor and Zam. So glad to have monkeys on vinyl. So that moves then into my purchases. And so let me just keep the monkeys train rolling where I found this copy of Changes by the Monkeys. This is a Rhino reissue. And again, there's the back. This is when the monkeys were just um, Davey and Mickey after um, Peter and um, Mike bought their contracts out. And actually this picture I believe is edited. Um, it's originally Davey, Mickey, and uh, Mike I think was over here, but they edited Mike out for the cover. So it, it, it's some new recordings as well as some stuff that was um, recorded in the past, but um, changes and i'm going to show you it's in the original sleeve which is really cool but i mean when i say this thing is clean it is just it is very clean um, and i know the camera doesn't do it justice but it's on that rhino label um really all that's on it is um some dust from storage but uh, when examining it, it doesn't look like this thing has been played at all. And um, again, I'm happy to have it to help complete my original monkeys on uh, vinyl. I'm getting close to finishing it, but I'm not quite there yet. All right, next, to go back to the birds for a second. This is um, Cardiff Rose by Roger McGuinn. This is a solo album by McGuinn. There it is on the back. Uh, McGuinn had a few solo albums that came out. Um, Take Me Away, Jolly Roger, Rock and Roll Tune, uh, Rock and Roll Time. And um, he does a version of Pretty Polly as well. And this is produced by Mick Ronson. And it's also very, very clean. And Tommy recommended this one to me. So thank you, Tommy for um, convincing me to get it. Uh, next, a bunch of clearance records that I found. This is a uh, incredibly clean copy of Late for the Sky by Jackson Brown. Uh, I mean, very, very clean, and it was only $7. So, uh, Rich Strickler, it was 
it's it's pretty pristine next for five dollars i got the beach boys love you uh this is really considered you know brian wilson's solo album he's he's doing most of the playing on the album um you have some you know you have contributions from the other members but um yeah i know this is a favorite of tommy's and um his buddy ross actually found this while we were digging and um said hey sam we were just talking about that album and i said yes we were and so i picked it up tommy found this one for me digging this is the zombies r.i.p and uh, i know one of my viewers basil will really like that this is an album that um came out after the zombies broke up um it wasn't really an album necessarily until much later i think it was a record store day exclusive so it's a, it's a lot of rod argent and chris white um, with a few other contributions but um kind of some of the last recording sessions from the original zombies and it's kind of cool because it's a black label but you can see the zombies um, on the back cover and then one of the one of the highlights here this is marty stewart bluebird cafe but you can see it's signed by marty and it was only 11 bucks so they didn't charge extra for that but this has a great version of get in line brother on it which i love that song it's a it's an old song but um, i'm really excited to, to have this on vinyl and you have all sorts of great um, guest performers on here like doc watson earl scruggs um, merle watson jerry douglas and um, the great johnny cash as well as well as some others um, in the sessions so i'm really excited to have this it's my first marty stewart on vinyl and then lastly, um, this is the big grail of the weekend, and um, you'll see this if you watch Tommy's video when he posts it. John Prime at the other ends, December 1975. This is a Record Store Day re release that came out in 2021. My Record Store did not have it when it came out, and um, I didn't want to pay the money for it online. But the record store that we went to um, had this un I mean, had this open next to a new copy, and this version was almost twenty dollars less just because it had been opened. So I'm like, I can I can handle that. But um, what's cool is it's four records. There's the inside, kind of a poster, and it's, it's all solo acoustic prime from what I understand. And um, there's Johnny and some liner notes and then you have all of the records inside, which I'm not going to get out because labels you know, are hit or miss with people showing them. but. I'm excited to have this, and um, it was just a great time with Tommy and his friends, who are now uh, friends of mine. So thank you, Tommy. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, keep an eye out for Tommy's video. It's going to be a good one when he posts it on his channel, Tommy's Musical Adventures. I'll post his channel link below. And in the meantime, y'all be good. Take care. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye now.